All right, everyone. Today we'll be doing a two-part review. And the first part review I'll be doing is this rural shallow spool for the Tatula 100. This is the 2019 version. And after I talk about this spool, we're gonna talk about the person who sold the spool to me on AliExpress and my experience as a unhappy customer. So you haven't seen my video of the unboxing of the spool. I was super duper excited about it because I read about this reel, I read about this uh, spool and how this could be a potentially a crazy BFS setup. And I did a, a casting test. I went out and whew, there was a lot of backlash guys. And then the backlash got caught under here. See all these lines that I kind of pulled out already? Over there on that table, but man, very, very disappointing. And I guess the reason why is if you guys look at here, right? Take a look at this. What do you guys see wrong with this? All right, let me, uh, before I even uh, jump to it, for those who didn't watch those other videos, I'll tell you guys the first problem when I did the unboxing, when I installed this on the spool, the problem lies here. This spool does not sit in 100% in, and it takes some force to pull out because it's stuck on a bearing. It doesn't fit in the bearing 100%. You can see, oh, finally got it out. But yeah, this thing doesn't fit in 100% right there. Now let's put this thing back in, force it in a little bit. Don't want to damage anything. All right. And gotta make sure this is uh, loose. It should be loose enough already. So because of the bearing is not sitting properly on a spool shaft, this thing cannot sit properly in the reel itself. Now let me install this back in there. All right. And that leads to another problem. Let me make sure this thing is sitting properly, the best pro uh, best it can. Tighten, tighten. All right, this should be right here. This should technically be perfect. However, if you look very close to my spool and I'm trying to put it exactly in the center of my uh, camera, I have my um, rule of thirds turned on here so I could see exactly where it's centered. You guys see the problem? Look at the right side of this spool right here. Look at the left side and I'm tilt it left and right just in case my tilting is wrong. You see that? This side right here, you can see more and you see less up here because this thing here is not sitting all the way in the side plate. It actually leaves a gap here, okay? And that actually caused, whenever you have a backlash, it causes the line to get trapped in here and I gotta take off my spool every single time, my side plate right here, and untangle it. And because the spool is stuck to my side plate, it makes it very hard to untangle that backlash. Let me show you guys something here. If you guys don't know me, I like to use uh, wires to make, you know, lures like these right here, okay? But anyway, this thing here is 0 0.03 inch diameter. So it actually helps you guys take a look. You see that? That gives you guys a little reference at how much gap it has. And I'm gonna put it on this side now, okay? See that? It's like literally this diam uh, the width of here fits here, but when I put this here, you still see a gap, okay? So this spool right here is either not made for this reel or this spool here is a defect. I actually have a couple of private messages from my viewers and they showed me, and it was short video clips on Instagram that they could put the spool onto the side plate, no problem. And spins easy, take it in and out. No problem at all. However, he did mention that this was still somewhat of an issue, but not as crazy as mine. So guys, I think this defect right here has really, you know, it's, it's, it's hit or miss for some folks, but I was actually fiddling with this and I find, found something really interesting, okay? Of course, I believe the defect is on the spool and how, how can I prove that? Well, you can see some bearings in my background right here, right? So I have this bearing right here. This one is from, uh, let's see, uh, I, I recognize this one. This one's from 13 Fishing. This one's from Casking, okay? So these bearings are basically uh, three by 10 by four. I've written it on my tube. And this one is a ceramic hybrid bearing from Zodi. I bought buy them in bulk, so it's so much cheaper, okay? So anyway, guys, uh, the reason I point this out is because when I take this whole spool apart, right? And I replace the bearing, I actually tested it with a few of them already. 
and I'm just yanked this out. Ooh, came off easy this time. Maybe because I keep taking it in and out and it got pretty easy. Like this one right here. I already got in there and I can't yank it out. Ooh, tight. Hmm, I'm getting easier and easier now. Maybe because I, I fit it through so many times, it just got so much easier. But anyway, guys, oh, see, oh, I shot away. But guys, what I want to really show you is that out of all my bearings, out of these bearings right here, there's only one that actually could go in all the way with no problem. It's this one right here. And let's tap it out. Okay, you flip it both sides. No problem. Let's try again with these here. See, I can't even put this in all the way. It's stuck right there. See that? I'm try to get it back out. Oh man, it's stuck. Ooh, got it. You heard that? Yeah, this, this casting one right here. And I, the other one I dropped, I'm not gonna put it in because uh, it got there. You guys can take my word for it. You guys saw this one, but this whole bottle right here, only one actually fit like this. So I have to say that potentially this bearing is a defect as well. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. But anyway, guys, I found this guy could actually fit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out, the stock bearing. Let's see if I can just pop this out easily. Make sure you, you cover the spring with your thumb or finger so it doesn't spring away and you lose it, all right? Put the spring retainer on the side and tap, nope. Like this, put that back in there, put it on the side, take this. And guys, I was gonna do uh, some sort of a bearing upgrade anyway. So this is actually a perfect time to do this. And I still have to take apart my reel because you got, if you guys notice, the bearing is not on the spool itself, it's actually in the reel. So um, that's a different video for a different day. But let's just do this test right here because I want to see, I want to prove that this was the guy that's a defect. I don't want to say this is a defective bearing, potentially it's tolerance. You know, there's a threshold of, you know, or margin error, whatever the right term is supposed to be. And this guy just so happened to fit this guy. And this guy, it, you know, this guy, I say it's a defect because it's $60, it should be perfect. This is like, you know, $2 and you know, it fits and it doesn't really fit the any other ones right there. But guys, let's take a look at this, put this in. Oh, oh, look at that, in and out, no problem. Spins with no problem too. Look at that, pretty darn smooth. Okay, you know what? Enough playing with that. Let's just put this thing right in here. I'm excited. Screw this back in. Whoa, you hear this? Earlier when I adjusted this side right here with the other bearing, when I took a, the other bearing out, right? It's, you can see that there is some gap there. It's, it's because it couldn't fit in the, uh, the inner circle, okay? So let's tighten this a little bit more. Still some more, wow. Just a little bit more. I gotta say, man, this tattoo, the tension knob on the side is so hard to adjust. And I got Asian hands, guys. Imagine folks who have like big hands, big fingers. There we go. Okay, so this is it. Make sure my uh, brake settings at zero. Sounds pretty good. Doesn't sound like it's rubbing against anywhere else. It's spinning very fast. And now let's take a look very close for a second. I'm gonna try to put it in uh, the center of my camera again with the rule of thirds. And this is pretty perfect right there. You can see that it's pretty, pretty much uh, even, definitely way better than uh, the other, the bearing, right? Let me see, I had this earlier right here. Let's take a look at this. So yeah, guys, it feels a little bit more even here. So I'm gonna take this back out and do not, uh, cast test with the upgraded bearings. Hopefully that eliminated the gap there. I mean, this is a very thin spool. I can see the gap there, but because of 
uh, this bolt backs up a little bit more. Hopefully the line doesn't go in there. And I mean, if the gaps here and here are so small that line could go in, technically it could have backlash and gotten this side, right? But it never did. It only went in this side. So I'm actually quite excited that I can go back out there and do another cast test. But um, I think I'm gonna change the outer bearings first. The second part of this video is gonna be the review of the AliExpress seller Way High Outdoor Sports, exactly where I've gotten this spool from. Now, so I have issued a refund at AliExpress due to dispute. You know, this is not fitting my tattoo. I had some issues with this. It's not going into the ball bearing properly. Way High Outdoor Sports is saying that this bull is not made for the 2019 Daiwa Tatula 100 series, which is insane. So I basically submitted an AliExpress dispute for a full refund. I have submitted all my evidence saying that this bull is for a Daiwa 2019 Tatula because it says it on the selling product page. It says it on the title, it says it on the description, it says it on the thumbnail. Okay. And a um, couple days submitting the dispute. Aliexpress has closed the dispute saying that uh, I have did not win the dispute and that they are sorry, sorry, um, I'm not getting my refund. And the next step is basically I need to talk to the seller and you know resolve my issue there. So they are again saying that this is not made for the 2019 Tatula, which is insane because like I said, it's said in multiple places and I have shown them screenshots of where it said it. but. He, the seller is consistently saying that it's not for it until you know I send it a few times the image, a few times screenshots, and then I think finally they get it and uh, they asked me to get uh, show evidence of my reel, the model number. So here you go, I show the model number, and they said this model number is not 2019. I mean, oh my gosh, it's so crazy because they just look up Daiwa old stuff, and for some reason Daiwa uses the same serial numbers or anything. But I like, look guys, look, there's a freaking spider here. There's a freaking spider here. He's saying my reel is 2014 Tatula, which is freaking crazy. But anyway, guys, there are so many things is wrong with uh, this AliExpress system. First and foremost, shame on AliExpress for not even checking the evidence because in a dispute, I get to put my evidence and the seller get to put evidence and they're supposed to review it together and then you know decide what's uh, the right path. Well, way high outdoor sports did not submit any sort of evidence. So shame on you, shame on you AliExpress. And um, if you guys talk behind my back and you know decided that you know uh, this product was not for the Tatua 100 um, series in 2019, shame on you again because you did not do your due diligence and actually read the product page. So shame on you, AliExpress, two times. Anyway, back to the seller. The next thing they asked me was, did I change my bearings? Obviously I did not change my bearings. I showed them my YouTube video, showing exactly the unboxing video, which you guys have already watched. I showed them the casting video, which you guys should have already watched. If not, you know, they are, uh, should be displayed on the top right hand corner already. Uh, those cards there, or you guys can check in uh, the link within the description below. But yeah, there's problems with the spool with all the bearings I have except for one bearing which I have put onto this side plate for right now, which I am still excited to go out and test it. But guys, just a reminder for those who buy and you know, they are, uh, if they have issues, you might run into the same issue. But anyway guys, about the bearing thing, you know, he accused me of changing my bearings. And then lastly, he asked me to actually take measurements of the spool. I was like, why do I need to even take measurements? I said, I can't do it. There's no way I can with the, you know, the, the type of tools I have. He sends me a screenshot of him using a caliper on how to measure the spool diameter, uh, the shaft right here. I was like, dude, I know how to do it. I'm not gonna go out there and buy a caliper. It's insane. Just look at my YouTube video. You can see that it's not gonna fit on the side plate. And after saying that many, many times, he finally said, we can't access YouTube. Oh, Jimbo, I have forgotten, Jimbo has forgotten that the Great Firewall of China blocks Chinese people from China from accessing YouTube. So he asked me to send him the video 
uh, which I am not gonna send in a video because I think it's, it's, it's just gone too far. I put too much effort. I've been speaking with them for over a week now. I'm gonna take this out for a few casts before I do anything else. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. This thing is a total, total nightmare. I mean, with all the discussion points that I have with the chat history, AliExpress does have a, a final rebuttal. I, I have had it with this seller uh, there is an option to appeal your dispute. So I've done the little, uh, it looks like a little bot in the bottom right hand corner of uh, AliExpress on your, you know, my AliExpress Express page. And it was terrible, but you know, I did whatever I can. I provided more screenshots. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the, the seller did say he'll send me refund back at first if it's his fault, but it doesn't look like he's admitting a fault. I mean, obviously it's not his fault for sending me a bad product. It's the manufacturer. They need to accept that this is a faulty product and they need to either send me a new one or send me a refund. That's my option I gave them. And they said, they'll be glad to give me a refund, but they don't want to send me another one as a, re a, a re uh, exchange because they don't know with it, would it fit my reel because it's not made for a 2019 Tatula, which is insane. So guys, should I ship it back or should I just continue testing this spool on this? I guess you could say a faulty bearing that actually fits and see if it works and keep it. Or should I just risk it and, um, you know, accept the, the shipping charges, which uh, I guess I would have to pay. Hopefully I can negotiate to ship it back for free and uh, get my money back. Leave me a comment below what you guys think. And uh, if you guys actually have purchased this uh, spool for your Tatula 2019 and have experience with it, leave me a comment below because I actually have one of the viewers from my other video saying that they have purchased the same spool for the same reel. They actually did these two things, just like me, bought these two guys around the same time, just a little bit, a uh, few days after I did. And uh, he got a few days after I did, and he showed me a video um, on Instagram that he fit no problems into the side plate and was able to re remove it out. Unlike mine, you know, you guys seen it. It's like, I gotta pop it out very hard. He could put it in very easily, however, it seems like it cannot sit exactly in the middle. So I'm assuming that his bearing is still in the way, not 100%. And um, he said, <laughs> he said he believes the, the spool already warped because he hears sounds kind of grinding on the side. So I don't know what your experience with this guys. Do you guys have the Robo spool? The, maybe the Legacy Robo without the Legacy, uh, the X? I believe the, the old Robo not Robo X, that thing is like five point something grams, which is lighter than this, this is 6.7. And um, people have a lot of fun with that one, which I'm kind of sad I can't find that one. But anyway guys, leave me a comment below if you have experience with this one, uh, spool or any of the tattooers, and if especially you have experience with this tattoo here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll get this uh, thing tested very, very soon.